Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be learning about the ABO and RH blood types. This video will help you understand the difference between antigens and antibodies and help you learn the different blood compatibilities for blood transfusions without having to memorize everything about each blood type. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. So there are eight main red blood cell types seen here and we'll eventually talk about each one. But to start off, let's look at an individual red blood cell. So my red blood cells, for example, are pretty likely to look different from your red blood cells. And the reason for this are the different types of antigens that can be present in different combinations on our red blood cells. Antigens are substances on the surface of our red blood cells that allow for immune responses. You can think of antigens as sort of markers or identifiers for the immune system. As an example, if my blood type is A, then my red blood cells have lots of these little A antigens on their surface, like so. It's the letter A in this case that tells us that A antigens are present on my red blood cells. Now let's talk about antibodies. Antibodies are the proteins in the plasma of the blood. Antibodies are part of the immune system, which help in finding and marking foreign substances that enter the body. Whenever an antibody meets the same type of antigen, then the antibody marks it as foreign so that the immune system can destroy it. For example, an A antibody can only bind to an A antigen to mark it as foreign. As you can see, the RH and B antibodies that are floating around in the plasma around the blood cannot bind to the A antigens and mark it for destruction. Again, let's assume my blood type is A. I wouldn't want my immune system or my antibodies to attack my own red blood cells, like what's happening here. So naturally, my body doesn't produce the right antibodies to do this. If my blood type is A, so I have lots of these A antigens on the surface of my blood cells, then I won't have any A antibodies. So whenever my immune system sees blood with A antigens, it accepts them as my own cells, even if they came from someone else with type A blood. However, I will have B antibodies. So for example, if I ever receive blood from someone with type B blood, which has B antigens, then my B antibodies will mark the foreign blood for destruction. This would be called an acute hemolytic transfusion reaction, where my immune system would go in and lyse or break up all of that type B blood that was transfused. This reaction can be life-threatening. So now that we've gone over antigens and antibodies, let's get a little more specific with each blood type. Starting with the ABO system, we have four blood types. Type A, Type B, Type AB, and Type O. Type A blood has A antigens on its surface and has B antibodies in its plasma. Type B blood has B antigens on its surface and has A antibodies in its plasma. Type AB blood has both A antigens and B antigens on its surface and has neither A nor B antibodies in its plasma. And finally, type O blood has neither A nor B antigens on its surface, so it has both A and B antibodies in its plasma. So which blood types can receive blood from the others? Remember, the most important thing about blood type matching is that the donor's blood should never have antigens that match the recipient's antibodies. Okay, the donor's antigens should never match the recipient's antibodies. This is because the recipient's antibodies will find and attack the donor's antigens if they match, causing that transfusion reaction. So someone with type A blood has A antigens and B antibodies, so they cannot receive red blood cells from anyone with B antigens. Type A blood can receive from other type A blood, of course. They can also receive from type O blood, because type O has no antigens. But type A blood cannot receive from type B or from type AB. Again, because they both contain B antigens. And someone with type B blood has B antigens and A antibodies, so they cannot receive from anyone with A antigens. Type B blood can receive from other type B blood and type O blood, but cannot receive from type A or AB. Someone with type AB blood has both A and B antigens and neither A nor B antibodies. Without A or B antibodies, no reaction to antigens can occur, so they can receive blood from all of the ABO blood types without any issues. Someone with type O blood has neither A nor B antigens, but does have both A and B antibodies. So type O blood cannot receive from A, B, or AB blood, because those A and B antibodies will mark any A or B antigens as foreign. Type O blood can receive from other type O bloods, and that's it. Now we have gone over the four ABO blood types and their compatibilities. 
Next, we have the RH factor. You can think of the RH factor as just another antigen that is either present or not on the red blood cells. If the RH antigen is present, it is represented as positive, and if the RH antigen is not present, it is represented as negative. So RH positive blood has RH antigens and lacks RH antibodies, while RH negative blood lacks the antigen but has RH antibodies. So how does compatibility work with RH groups? Again, remember the rule that the donor's antigens should never match the recipient's antibodies. So due to the presence of RH antigens on RH positive blood, an RH positive donor cannot give blood to someone who is RH negative. The donor's RH antigens would interact with the recipient's RH antibodies causing that transfusion reaction. So anyone with RH negative blood can only receive from others with RH negative blood. RH positive blood, however, lacks RH antibodies and can therefore receive blood from both RH negative and RH positive types because there is no risk of breaking that compatibility rule. Now I'll quickly walk through all of the eight blood types. You can follow the link in the video description to download a free simple blood compatibility chart like this one. Someone with A positive blood has A antigens, RH antigens, and B antibodies. So they can receive blood from anyone without B antigens, which includes A positive, A negative, O positive, and O negative. Someone with A negative blood has A antigens, RH antibodies, and B antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone without RH and B antigens, which includes A negative and O negative. Someone with B positive blood has B antigens, RH antigens, and A antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone without A antigens, which includes B positive, B negative, O positive, and O negative. Someone with B negative blood has B antigens, RH antibodies, and A antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone without RH and A antigens, which includes B negative and O negative. Someone with AB positive blood has A antigens, B antigens, and RH antigens with no antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone and are considered the universal receivers or recipients. Someone with AB negative blood has A antigens, B antigens, and RH antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone without RH antigens, which includes A negative, B negative, AB negative, and O negative. Someone with O positive blood has RH antigens, A antibodies, and B antibodies. They can receive blood from anyone without A or B antigens, which includes O positive and O negative. Someone with O negative blood has no antigens, has RH antibodies, A antibodies, and B antibodies. They can only receive blood from other type O negative donors. Type O negative blood is considered the universal donor, as they can give or donate to any blood type, but again can only receive from their own. But hopefully now you'll be able to work through these blood compatibilities without having to memorize all of that by thinking of the antigens and antibodies that are at play. Always take your time and think about these two rules. The donor's antigens should never match the recipient's antibodies. This is because same type antigen and antibodies cause an immune response, which is not good. And that's about it for the ABO and RH blood types. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.